Good morning. It is cold. I need to get some cozies on if I'm going to do this. But it is an exciting day. Because if you don't know, and you don't follow me on my main channel, then Scott purchased a T25 camper van for the past year and a bit. We have been redoing it, like gutting it, rebuilding it, like the whole shebang. Which meant we needed a place to put all of the cabinets, all of the supplies, the power tools, the carpet, the insulation. So the obvious answer to that was just shove everything into the conservatory and leave it there for a year. And today is the day that I get that conservatory back. It is empty, let me show you. So obviously that was always like that. Yes, that's how we sit. Uh, that was pushed up, all of the cabinets were put in here, but yesterday we emptied it and it is all ready to go back to normal after a year, just in time for the good weather as well. Excellent timing. Buckle up because today I am going to be cleaning from top to bottom the entire conservatory. I'm gonna get a YouTube playlist on. I can't believe I have this room back. It's so bizarre. It's like gonna have a, like having a brand new room again. Okay, stage one is I'm gonna just put everything into this bag, all the bits and bobs, even if it's rubbish, even if it's not, just put it onto this bag so we can clear out some of the spice. This one rarely comes in. Yes, hello. She's come in for like an intense cuddle for a few minutes. Oh, very skittish. But very loving. Sure, go in. Absolutely. If I make a loud noise, she's just gonna go. <laughs> I didn't even make a loud noise. Oh, cats are funny. There are bees and wasps all dead. When we pulled everything out, we found like a graveyard and obviously over the summer we've left doors open and stuff and windows. They've come in, got stuck and died. It's really sad. All right, a few more things to be taken out, but once that's done, we're gonna get dusting and it needs literally all the plastic and the windows need cleaning top to bottom. So it's gonna be a big day. I'm gonna find some YouTube to put on in the background or maybe an audiobook. I'll have a look. I don't know. I just don't know what I fancy. Got my dive. Don't break, Dave. Not today, I need you, mate. Dive. Oh, dive. Okay, fix them. Oh, God, you are filthy. Oh, God, I can't even hold a duster. What is wrong with my... Oh, look at the marks on this wall. It's not even dust. It is just pure dirt now. Things being taken in and out into the garden, brushing up against these walls and using this as a damn storage unit, which Charlie, it is not, please. Thank you, Chess. Ah, oh, it's rank. Can you even see? Can you even see how gross it all is? <laughs> dry cloth now and just give it a wipe down pick up any bits of lint that 
I've got caught um, and I'll go around and do the skirting boards a little bit after um, once I've vacuumed just because there's so much dirt on the floor. These are gleaming. I don't know if you could even see properly how bad they were. My battery's dead. That's fair. My camera's like, I can't look at this anymore. Fair enough. I'm going to carry on, you know, wipey wipey. for a little bit of a coffee break but it has taken maybe just an hour and a quarter or something to scrub down all of these windows and the panels and the walls and the skirting boards the only part that I haven't done is obviously behind this sofa so there's two more window panels and that side of the wall there but we'll do that when we pull it out so I'm gonna have a cheeky little coffee now um, and I think plan of action next is I'll probably have to do a couple of vacuum rounds but there's so much big chunky stuff and like all the dead bees and just dust and debris and things like that so I'll do a quick vacuum get all the big bits up and then vacuum this rug and I got some vanish that I might have to use we'll see this takes two hours you just spray it on leave it to dry and then vacuum it off um, so we'll see how the rug comes up with a good vacuum. It shouldn't be too bad to be honest. Could use a little bit of, um, what's it called? That spray stuff, a thousand and one. But we shall see and then I'll pull the sofa down, uh, we'll clean all behind that. And um, yeah, not far now. And obviously the floor needs a really good scrub and a mop. Real hot mop, lots and lots of bleach. It's gonna be necessary. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean up behind there. Oh, you wanna come with me? Okay, just come down here, come down here, come down here. Not as dirty as I thought. Random cat toy, a few dead moths, got up all the bees, the rest of their little bumbly souls. So yes, do the same round here, clean it up and then yeah we can you <laughs> Finishing touches, a couple of pillows, nice vase, little bric-a-brac items, and here is the big reveal. Clean, fresh, spacious. So it's simple and the um, I'd like to replace that with something, but it was up there before, so we put it back on. So this is the space right now. I'll be adding to it, changing it a little bit. But this is what we have. I love the sofa area. Put a blanket there because it is now autumn and um want to get cozy. Did order some pampas grass leave things to go in here so waiting for them to come and our beautiful concrete table. Most definitely be finding a table cover to cover this um, color as it definitely doesn't go. I've got my basket of pegs, a little thing to add some height. And then over here, we've got the little shelving unit, which I got off Amazon. It's really lightweight. And um, yeah, I've got some books, food for the birds, some books about bird watching. Thing from the back over here, 
as you can see, loads of space now. It's absolutely amazing. It smells so good in here. I'm so happy. And I thought I would just, even though it's not completely finished, show you before we lose light. I'm going to cuddle on here with a book when it's raining outside. I am so excited. So I'm most definitely a little bit tired now. The bun has come down because it was giving me a huge headache. Either that or all the fumes and chemicals. Um, but I'm so chuffed. I'm so happy. I thought I'd just film it because um, so many of you know how long I've waited to get this space back. And I'm looking forward to picking up some little thrifty items. Um, that can really make this a really beautiful place. I do have a ton of fairy lights I'm thinking of hooking up somehow, but again, light is going down now. It's almost what? Wow, crazy, it's five to four, and um, it is getting considerably darker outside already. <laughs> Don't you love it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and it was therapeutic, and you, oh, I love a good time lapse, love a good speed clean, so yeah, thought I'd share this day with you. Had a lot of fun, absolutely exhausted. I think I've got some wine left over from the weekend, so I might have a cheeky glass of that tonight with Scott, as we sit in here and admire my great work. All right, so don't forget to subscribe if you're new here on the second channel, and you came from my main channel, then we do a lot of eBay stuff, um, so it's nice to make things up every now and again um but yeah it's just a channel where i put out whatever i fancy really we do whatever we want to do it's my other life when i'm not traveling will i ever travel again is this going to become my main channel existential crisis T currently talking through it with my therapist don't worry about it um and yeah like subscribe all the good stuff social medias whatever you want do all of it do none of it it doesn't matter because i'll see you in the next video anyway all right bye